60% of all Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Many people falsely assume that living paycheck to paycheck is a problem faced only by low income people. False. There are many six figures and even seven figure income earners that have a hard time keeping up with their personal expenses and bills and find themselves under a mountain of debt that they can't get away from. If more money won't prevent you from living paycheck to paycheck, then what will? I live by three key insights, and no, they don't involve a budget or a spreadsheet detailing all your income and expenses. When I was younger, the relationship I had with money was completely different from the relationship I have now. My goal when I started my first corporate job was to make as much money as I could to buy whatever I wanted or have whatever experience I wanted to have. If I wanted a pair of shoes or I needed to go on a vacation or buy the latest designer bag, I would because I had the money and that is what I viewed its use for. The only way I could sustain that would be to continue working, to make more money, to buy more things. If my mindset didn't change, I'd remain in this loop of working harder to make more money and buying much more expensive things. So what was the mindset shift? The best and highest use of my money was to use it to make even more money. Money, once seen as a tool for transactions, became a strategic asset for wealth creation. While my desire for luxury persisted, the approach evolved. Instead of spending $10,000 on a designer handbag, I would invest $10,000 into the stock market, wait a few months or a year. If I made significant profit, I could then choose to reinvest or buy that handbag that I always wanted. I achieved the same goal, but in a different, more strategic way. The shift in perspective led me to use money strategically, investing in companies or starting my own. The returns from these ventures not only fulfilled my desire, but also created a sustainable cycle of wealth. This approach breaks the paycheck to paycheck cycle, offering financial freedom and a more secure future. Money is more than just a transactional tool. Let's jump to this question. Do you know what one hour of your time is worth? Has that value increased over time? Understanding the worth of each hour is pivotal for personal growth. Over time, I realized that my time's value is dynamic and can either appreciate or depreciate based on how I spend it. I get asked a lot how I manage my time owning several different businesses, and the answer is simple. Prioritize tasks that align with my goals and delegate less critical ones. Your time is your ultimate asset, and intentional investment in activities that enhance your value are essential. Avoid squandering your time on unproductive tasks is crucial. And these hours, they add up, impacting your financial and personal growth. Each hour of the day presents an opportunity to increase your worth, either by learning something new, having conversations with people further along their journey than you are, or spending your time doing something that increases your ability to increase your worth. The understanding of the value of your time is crucial in the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. Recognizing the true value of your time is the pathway to financial freedom and a more fulfilling life. Value your time. It is your most important asset. There's no easy way to express this reality. At some point in our lives, making sacrifices becomes inevitable for those aspiring to achieve success. This involves tough decisions, such as cutting back on leisure and entertainment expenses, dining out, going to the movies, attending events, and even, yes, traveling. <laughs> Committing to these changes for a year or two years may seem challenging, but it's a crucial step to get your financial house in order. Consider that large companies also make tough decisions to navigate challenges, and adopting a similar approach to our finances could significantly improve our situation. When the economy falters, companies often cut spending, reduce their workforce, or merge with others. Similarly, during financial struggles, it might be beneficial to trim expenses and reconsider certain aspects of your lifestyle, like downsizing our apartments or our car. In tough times, tough decisions are necessary. Living paycheck to paycheck isn't solely about the amount of money, it goes beyond that. The common belief that more money solves all problems is a misconception. The saying that the more money you have, the more problem you have holds true if one lacks discipline to manage their money. 
Having more money without financial literacy can exacerbate an existing problem instead of solving it. Financial discipline is key. If you want to stop living paycheck to paycheck, try changing how you think about money. If this is a goal you're looking to achieve in 2024, be sure to catch my Mastering Your 2024 Goals. 